but that's okay. Um, I'm here to help you guys out. So the first thing, ladies and gentlemen, when doing a problem like this is after you've at least been able to write down the problem, uh, we need to go ahead and plot these points. And they're saying to rotate 270 degrees. Actually, I'll write that up the top. So there's a couple rules that we had that I said to rotate 270 degrees. We really want to rotate something 270 degrees. Remember, unless, it's, unless we're told otherwise, we're going to assume we're going to rotate about the origin. And then also, we're going to um, assume we're going to rotate counterclockwise. So the rule for our coordinate points when rotating counterclockwise was to swap the variables and negate the second one, which would be our old x coordinate and our new y coordinate. So what I'm going to do then is let's just apply that transformation to each one of these. So now my new points, which we label as m prime, is going to be 3 comma 6, because now I negate the old x coordinate. P prime is now going to be 3 comma 2. Q prime is going to be negative 2, 3. And V prime is now going to be 2, negative 2, 7. Do you guys see how I swapped each one of the variables? And then the second term, which is our new y coordinate, is the, other, is the opposite sign of what it originally was. And now we just go ahead and draw them on the same coordinate axis. So whenever we're applying transformations, we have to make sure we label our figures. So let's plot these points, and, and let's try to be as specific, um, as close, as detailed as we can. So I have negative 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 1, 2, 3. That is going to be my point M. I need to label that as point M. P is negative 2, up 3. That's point P. Q is negative 3. Neg or negative 2, negative 3, negative 2. That's point Q. And then V is 7, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, negative 2. What did it say this figure was? Did it say it was something? Was that over at 2? OK, that should be at 3, though, so that should be over here. OK, that's fine. That works, because I was at 2. Perfect. So um, that's what our figure looks like, correct? Mm -hmm. Now remember, ladies and gentlemen, when we're rotating, yes, Alexandra? You swap the variables, right. and then you negate the new y coordinate, which is your old x coordinate. What does negate? Means take the opposite. So let's take a look at the point m. m, I swapped the, the 3 and the 6. Since 6 was originally negative, I made it positive. OK? That's a perfectly good question. I have no idea why Camilla is having a problem with it. It's a perfectly good question. Because it doesn't say for this y, it doesn't say when I take the y and put it in front, that's still the same y. It doesn't change signs. Only when I swap, only the second term is changed. Only the second variable gets changed. Okay. OK? Now, remember, when we're doing rotations, all right, if I have my figure here, if I'm rotating 270 degrees, a rotation is like 90 degrees once, 90 degrees twice, and then 90 degrees three times. So again, the way that I told you guys is you can easily take a sheet of paper. If anything else, if you forget the rule, take a sheet of paper, sketch it, exactly what I'm talking about, sketch it, and then rotate it 270 degrees. All right. But if you remember the rule, it's pretty basic to now you know your new points. Now you can just plot what the new points are. So m is going to be 3 comma 6. So I go over 1, 2, 3, and then up 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So now that's going to be my new point M. And I label my new point M, M prime. Then I go in P, which is going to be 3 comma 2. So that's going to be P prime. Then I have Q, which is negative 2, 3, 1, 2, I'm sorry, 1, 2, and then up 3, 1, 2, 3. 
And then I have negative 2, 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And that's v prime. So that would be what my rotation of my, uh, my figure would be, 270 degrees. You done? Yeah. Let's put it on that top end, please. Anybody have any questions on that? Yes. Uh, 